Right, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda The Minish Cap. This is episode 5 and we're just about to go and talk to Larry. See if we can get our new sword. Seems ready. Whoa, that was fast work. But not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. You got the white sword. It's beautiful. White blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. And so we did. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The first element of that totally is this part, but if you want to infuse the element, infuse the sword, you must need to. We must go to the elemental sanctuary. The sanctuary is a strange realm trapped between two worlds. It is bridged between the Venus world and the human world. The war with the sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You will find a door hidden within the room castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it after all. You can make short work of that yet human mind. Let me tell you about the shortcut that you can use to get down from the mountain. Well, that's quite nice actually. You'll find it right in front of the day. Entrance of the mine you just to explore. Just follow that and you'll get down in no time. Good luck. Alright, so thank you, miners. So we need to get big again. And um, I said to use the shortcut, which should be this time. Ah, right, that actually cuts down the path in more than half. Didn't I remember that I just could use this one right? And I'm done, done with the base. So, right, we need to find the sanctuary. Which I actually have to know who it is. One of the few things that I remember from this game. But right, we got a better sword now. That's quite neat, actually. So, right, we need to go to the sanctuary, which should be somewhere up here, right up here. So we are Link, and we are Link, and we are Link, and we're called Brown, because that's our name. I like these classical tunes. Are you sure? I look alright. I never know what we are performing locations. Oh, we're not going to meet the king, the pussy. Right, so you need to go to the sanctuary. It should be in the castle somewhere. Uh, was it? Oh, this is the king's chamber, which we are not going to talk to him, right? Like I said. But we're going to go down, down the stairs. Was it that? Down the stairs once and around this whole thing. Ah, and into the entrance here. And it should be here. Yeah, see how that door Yes. Yes, quite logical. This is the elemental sanctuary. So, up there is where I infused the sword with the power of the elements. So I walk up here and I place the sword down in that. So right, we got the red sword. with power and walk over the go and hide. Yeah, so too long didn't read. Let's just do this. And this. And we get a copy of ourselves. Hey! 
This is actually a quite nice ability. I don't remember if I can do more than one copy. Let's try it actually. One. No, two copies at the most. And I can cancel it like that. Otherwise, when I walk into solid objects, they will delinkify. Or oh, what I should ever call it. They will disappear. And uh, I need to do it all over again. So, right, nothing interesting on the sides. So, let's just move on. The shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be marked. The one that costs on you is most powerful. No matter what pop you win, you would never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created a capital and a few insane desires. Fool, a hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule, nothing to the greatest sorcerer's life. A sorcerer, sorry. You can't stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. I accept this small crap. So right now we're getting closed in and two pigs actually appear. So I will have to beat them. Uh, let's see. That's the sword, that's the sheep. Come on, piggy! That seems like the easiest solution to beat them. That foul party! What could you be scheming now? Frank, I feel you, I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him in, took him on as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vati took a hat I made for the humans by pride and joy. It granted the wishes of his wearer. He put it on without permission. Whee! Vati, what are you doing there? <gasps> what a wild form you have taken! Vile, I am a sorcerer now and my power is beyond compare. None can stop me. Why, Vati, what are you plotting? This year, on the it comes but once a century, the border opens, and when it does, I should claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Sorcerer's curves. There is nothing you can do to break it as slow or to stop me. And with that, I must believe. You know the legends, of course, the gift that Kori gave the humans. 
what you call epic horror blade was the first of those gifts. The second, you call it life force, but it's a sort of limitless magical power. If Bate were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Bate, and I met you in the woods. But it seems to work the breaking the curse on me anytime soon. However, with Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry, all that has happened has been due to my own pride. My folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we put an end to Vati. So right, after that long explanation, Warbank and offer it as much for the next element. So right, now. After that long explanation, we need to get to the next element. For those who didn't understand my reading or that think I'm boring and actually just don't come to it uh, and just fast forward it. Um, it just basically just said that Vati was some Inish and became evil and is now plotting to take over the world with the force. Or the light force, I mean, not the force. Right. And I'm on adventure, and I'm going to win, and I'm going to win, because I'm the best, the best. So, right, um, we're going to go on to the next one. So, why don't you take another look at the map? Right, we have the green element somewhere around here, and we have the water element somewhere around here. I would say we try to go to the water element first, because it's the closest one. Look at the size of that waterfall. Beautiful, simply beautiful, by the way. So, right, he mentioned the waterfall, which means there must be something important on the waterfall. So right, let's just go down and try the green one. The easiest way to get there would be by going down here. And see if we can get through here. Alright, I can probably move this one with two. This is the way we're supposed to go. Another Kingston, please.
Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> An evil laugh. <laughs> It looks like you're all here. Very well, the king of rule has word for you. You all know the power of the core gave to mankind, do you not? The golden life force, limitless magical power. I want it. It's somewhere here in the room. Now, go now and bring me this power. Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the life force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family too. Right, so... Maybe it's just a win. I have nothing bad to so. say. No, I need to look for the next element. So, yeah, right. Um, as you probably noticed, the king was possessed or something by Vati and is now using the king's resources to search for the life force. Which means, actually, that we have to hurry. Open that one. That is blocked. Cast your wings, stay near, do not forget to use Pegasus boots. I don't have any Pegasus boots. That means we have to get some. No, 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 crap, are we going to do that? I'm blocked. All these places you see that are closed or blocked or you can't get through. Those actually open up when you're using king stones. Why the, why the crap are you after me? Stop that. So, right. Let's just go and talk to this guy. I planted a bee near my house. It just doesn't want to grow. Oh, you mean... This one over here. Right, I need to, probably to put water on it, but I need another glass jar for that. So that will have to be a later date. So right, why do I need Pegasus boots to walk through here? I just want to see actually why. Oh right, it's um, so oh, this must be Castle Wilds. It's an the dark place filled with swamp and mire. But we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so here we go. Come on, Brunk. Into the muck with us. Uh, no, actually, I won't go into the muck because. Watch your feet, you're sinking. So, right. As you saw, I sank as soon as I stepped into the mud. Um, as that is going on, we can't progress. And that's why they tell us that we need the Pegasus boots. Because if you have the Pegasus boots, you can run over safely without sinking. Right, to rule town. And the guy who does the Pegasus boots actually is down here. Ah, right, this guy. Hello there. No, I don't need it right now. I don't have anything to put it in either. So, right, let's see. Here's the boot shop. And that's the problem with the boot shop. So, let's just... This... Ah, no. It was the correct way. And because we haven't done this before, I can't fast forward. Guys. 
Hey, you have Bronco at right? your own photo spot. Yes, yes, yes. So, right. That's it, guys. That's all we need to do here. I'll see you sleep and you can't put the finishing touches on the shoes. We're actually done. And uh, we need to wake him up somehow. And the only way to wake him up is actually by giving him something from the witch's hut. So, into the witch's hut we go. Stay on my port. Oh. 
Uh, now that we're outside, we need to go with this one again and talk to the girl. What a pain! I was thinking of going into Long Town to sell one of the There you go. Oh, our one and only spare key. I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Can we link it? Oh, right, that's a great now. If you ever need to go to Lake Hillia, just cut through our house. Thank you very much. Yeah, so now I can walk through their house. I can also buy uh, milk from them, I believe it is. Yeah, right. Um, isn't there a patch of glass and a hidden... And those cows look so delicious. No, I don't think they don't actually. So, right. Nothing here. And... Uh, I can move this. See you next time.